So I'm pretty excited about today's video. We're gonna go to a German Lidl and try the entire bakery item for the first time. Let's go, Losh. I'm so excited, hungry, I have hunger. So Lidl supermarkets are all over Germany and parts of Europe. It's a discounted supermarket, right? Cheap one. Yeah. And they have these little bakery sections and they're pretty cool. They have a, a decent variety usually. We're already there. Oh, here it is. Here it is, look at that. We're in lockdown right now, masks on, ready to go into the Lidl and get some goods. This is what you do in lockdown, right? Yeah. Well, let's fill up the donuts first. This might be big breads we're probably not going to do the big breads and at a normal bakery you can cut the bread and slice it and they have that here look at this it's so cool it's a bread slicer yeah let's do it yeah we're getting one i don't think we have you ever done this before no, we've both never done this there it is look at the mechanism Nicely sliced. This is so cool. Wow, well, okay. perfect position. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm guessing this one's the most popular bread because it's almost out. There are a lot of people that get full loaves and uh, have their bread for the day, week, or whatever. I really like this kind of bread. I don't know why. I like it. Good morning everybody, we are Diana and Phil, Diana's from the US and I'm from Germany, we're currently in Germany and we just came from a German Lidl grocery store and we bought every pastry item they had and we're gonna eat it all, it's gonna be the first time for Diana, I might have had one or two of these before but we should just dig into it right? Yes, I'm pretty excited! Okay, what should we start off with, sweet or savory? They had a pretty good selection there today I have to say. Yeah. Um, it's usually a big competitor with Aldi. I think since we have four croissants, we might as well just start with a croissant. Yes. Right? Let's try this one, which is a... This one looks pretty plain from the outside. I think it's a butter croissant. Uh, so it might not be filled at all. You're right, this one is not filled. So do you want to quarter it? Can you just put it on my plate instead of the table? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's quarter let's, that. Let's try not to eat too much. So yeah. standard plain croissant from the Smells Lidl. nice. The infamous Lidl bakery. It's a croissant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, I noticed, say the word, what is this? Croissant. No, no, croissant. say it like you usually say it. Croissant. Yeah, Americans. Croissant. I don't know, it triggered me a little bit always. Croissant. I always hear croissant from croissant. the Americans. Oh. It's a croissant. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a decent croissant. If you've ever had the Costco croissants, those are way more buttery. The Costco croissants? Croissants? The croissants from Costco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to go to Costco. I haven't been. We just been for the dollar pizza or whatever outside, like huge slice for one. It's a restroom break. <laughs> That's so good, dude. All right, standard plain croissant. Croissant, not that great. Now just do a second one. Oh, okay. So we can. Uh, yeah, they had um, a flam kuchen one. I think we should try that. Should yeah. I just rip it? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. It's the cheese and bacon. Is it? Yes. Oh dang it. I should just cut it. Cutting looks nicer. All right, kiss me. Croissant number two. Mm. Mm. So much better. Yeah. You don't seem to love it. I think the ham is throwing me off. It's not the nicest meat. 
all of this together was pretty much exactly 10 euros. Yeah. And how many items do you have? <laughs> 13 items and, and a, a bread. whole bread. A lot of the pieces were only like 30 cents. So that's awesome. I like these a lot. Yeah, I think this is definitely better, but I'm not a huge fan of the the little ham slice. It's not the it's not the, the nicest, but it's good. I think it's definitely a little moister. I like the, the cheese bacon things, yeah. the savory ones He's a big uh, fan. over the sweet ones. I would rather cheese and spinach and less stuff. That's good too. Uh, well then, I want to attempt this one. I'm hoping it's the Flammkuchen. Another croissant! Can you cut it? So it has a little rosemary or something on the outside and then there's a little bit of cheese filling or some kind of filling. Hmm. Ooh, that smells more cheesy than the cheese bacon one. Mmm. Are we rating these? Sure. <laughs> Because I definitely like this one the most out of all the out yeah. of the croissants that we've had. I love it. Yeah. I also noticed I'm eating way too much and too fast because we haven't eaten anything today. Shove it in there. Mm, mm hmm. I would probably give this like a nine out of ten. It'll go in my queen of the day cutting board. Your mom got me that, right? I love it. <laughs> it's I think cute. so. Yeah. I also give that an eight or nine out of ten. The cheese bacon one is like a six or seven. And the plain one is just a three or something. Yeah. It's just not great. The bacon and cheese, I, I would give that a three out of 10 too. <gasps> I don't really like the bacon in there. I would opt for not. I just finished the, croissant, the croissant. We have one more, which also looks fairly plain from the outside, mm -hmm. but it has to be the nougat then, right? Yeah, it's a little hollow. There's some chocolate in there. Okay. All right, nougat one. I don't think I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Look at the hollow thing. Yeah, it's very hollow. Better than it looks. Yeah. I yeah, like yeah, mm -hmm. I do too. I think I would give this like a seven out of 10. I think it's very good and it's super affordable for 80 cents. I think that's what's one of the first ones, right? After the plain one probably came the chocolate one, I would assume. Yeah. I would give this a seven out of 10 too. I'm surprised. I really like those. I can see yeah. why they do usually the, the sweet ones over the hearty ones. I even wonder if you're in like a authentic Parisian cafe, if they would even have a cheese and bacon croissant. Oh yeah, I'm curious. Either way, croissant roundup, boom. The flamkuchen one. Best. Okay, yeah. what do you want? Should we go with something yeah, sweet? Yeah, we're gonna continue the sweet train. We have this donut pile. You wanna start with the Berliner? Okay. What a fun one cool one. We have a standard Berliner here. It looks like that. And those are some of my favorites. I think it's one of the best donuts you can get. Those are his favorites. Especially in Germany. Wow, yeah. And uh, as you can see, it's filled with jam. The jam. Probably wow. start, oh, I have barely any, but it's okay. <laughs> Do you want this one? No, it's okay. Mm. 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 It's not the freshest. Yeah. I think that's a risk um, when you go to the discounter inside these these inside bakeries from the discounter. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't really know how how long it's been sitting there. Do they? This make, is not the freshest. Do they make these there? I wonder an item like this if they make it there or if they have them shipped already pre-made or something. This isn't the best. I mean, all of these things can, can vary on your personal experience individually yeah. on each day. They also, I think, changed the, the, the lineup yeah, yeah. It's uh, a, quite a bit, right? It's a so surprise sometimes. On average, so far, I'm very happy Dude. with the quality and the price. Price-Leistung-Verhältnis is pretty good okay. so far. What about we do the, the, the small the one? Baby I didn't thing? even know we got this. It's a baby donut. Yeah. I don't even know if they charged us. Oh yeah, mini oh. mini donut zimt. Yeah, I 20 just 20 cents. Zimt. Zim, cinnamon. cinnamon. It smells super cinnamony. Yeah, you can see it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> You shove food in my face and I'm like, go away. That's good. That's air. That's good. That's nothing. Doesn't taste like a normal donut. It tastes like a, a quark bulchen. Yeah, exactly. A a qu quark bulchen. But it yeah. tastes good. I like that. I would give that also a 7 out of 10. Really? Yeah. I was going to give it a 5. 4 yeah. 5. Mm. This donut looks like every other discounter donut or wherever you get cheap yeah. donuts. Probably not filled. Just the glazing on top which will come off when I cut it. One of the biggest things, I love donuts. Like that would be my dessert go-to. And I feel like I have yet to have a decent donut 
in Germany. In Berlin, we had the Fankuchen, the the Berliner, and that yeah, was really good. They were, but that's fantastic. like a, I think in general, most of the bakeries, unless you specialize it, don't really have the yeah. best donuts. But Dunkins. <laughs> Dunkins, yeah, yeah. Can I have that other? Half? Sure. <laughs> It's gonna be a five. This looks just like bread with chocolate on top. Which is not a bad thing. But it's also not a donut. But what is a donut? Yeah. What is a donut? Let's get philosophical here. So it's just bread. But I wouldn't call it a donut. If it has a hole, it is a donut. It's not the donut I'm used to or I prefer. Yeah, five out of ten. It's it's good, not great. You can eat it, it's probably cheap. Yeah. Four? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, time for something exciting. This is what I would buy if I go yeah. to the Lidl. A pizza boat or pizza schleifer. I don't know what they call it. Some type of calzone. Look at that, it looks a bit sad if you look at a... It looks like the like same a... ham that was in the croissant. I might be disappointed. Go for it. No, I cheers you. Sure you. It's better than a pizza lunchable. Here's the thing. I like it, but it has this little artificial food enhancer pizza taste. I think that's why I associated it with a Lunchable. Like a five or six out of 10. Yeah, I would only give this a six out of 10. But here's the thing. Let's American fire it. I think, I think it gets a lot better a lot of these things, if you heat them up for 30 seconds in the microwave. That's true. That's something we never did in Germany. I just recently started that, thanks to America. It's like toasting bread. A lot of people say don't do it, but I prefer toasted bread. Here we have it, the 30 second microwave. Ooh, it already it feels better. <laughs> Seriously. See. Maybe, oh, it's oh, hot. Life hack, we might have a life hack here. Ah. Dang, it's so hot. Okay. Uh, can I split that piece? We're going smaller and smaller here. Oh, well, look at the cheese melting out. That is yeah. That is cheesy. Oh. You just, uh. Ha ha! Look at it. That's so much better. I bump it from a six to a seven and a half. Yeah, I would do it from a five to a solid six. Yeah. Definitely heat that up if you have a microwave around when you get it in your lunch break. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, do you want to do that? Sure. What is it? It looks like an apple thing. Is it apple? Wow, look at this. It's an apple triangle. So it's an Apfeltasche, which literally just means apple bag. Ooh, Ooh that looks nice. Like delivery. Favorite. Apple and cinnamon. I love this combo. Oh, it has cinnamon, like a strudel. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I like that too. Look at it. It's like a glibbery, a little bit of a glibbery jello filling. Yum. Let's go for it. It smells awesome. This might be another thing that might be better warm. has a little bit of the artificial flavor that you talk about. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It tastes like it was prepackaged in one of the vending machines. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's not little, like fresh bakery, but it tastes little food enhanced. It's not what you mm. want always. But it's a little better than I thought. Mm -hmm. It has chunks in it. It has cinnamon. Uh, I don't I didn't I didn't think I like it as much. It's a 7 for me too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to give it a 6. I think it's not bad. It's just not the best. I think um these discounter bakeries inside are pretty good. And I think it's such a German thing to crap on them because like, that's not a real bakery. Yeah. And then everybody goes to the real bakeries, which at this point are all chains anyway. Yeah, or franchises. I think we might have one or two in this town that are like standalone yeah. mom and pop bakeries. Yes, but why would they be better? Like there's a reason why the chains and the franchises are that big, you know? It doesn't automatically mean it's that bad. they're yeah. better, you know? Yeah. Just because this is from a Lidl or the same with an Aldi, it doesn't really mean that this stuff is bad, yeah, right? Yeah, just try it for yourself, see which one you prefer. Otherwise, I'll come with the scepter and I'm gonna... Don't play you. with your food! <laughs> what, what is that? I don't know. Check it, it looks like a little scepter or something else. <laughs> Let's see. Chocolate, right? It's funny chocolate. It's not that bad. Mm -mm. This doesn't look as good as it tastes. Yeah. Like it doesn't really look that appetizing. It looks a little burnt. It looks a little dry. But surprisingly, it's not that dry. I think I would give this like a, a six or seven. 
Yeah, Two. I would give it a six. Same problem though, it's not the freshest, I think. Mm -hmm. It tastes like it's been there for a little bit. Well, we have three things left. One of them is... The standard. A pretzel. A pretzel. Like a Bavarian pretzel. Well, it looks pretty nice. Let me just break it open. I don't think we need a topping for the pretzel. This is the best part, the bottom part. All the way. Mm -hmm. I think I'm biased out of all like the heartier breads. Pretzels are just my favorite. Really? I just, uh, I think I prefer pretzels when they're fresh. Regardless of what you say, even if you go to a local bakery versus a chain bakery, it's never fresh. Like I'm never there at 6 a.m. when they first pop mm. out of the oven. So I really like the frozen ones we get and then they're fresh out of the oven and they're nice and warm. The frozen pretzel breads are the best. Yeah, yeah. I really like them. They're so better than this. Even when we were in Munich and we had pretzels, yeah. they're hanging there. Mm. Yeah, they're hanging there with butter or they put butter Some on it. Some weren't that great. But yeah, with butter. Ugh. A little better with butter. A little better with butter. We got two items that are a little bit different. We got uh, two bread rolls. The pretzel bread roll with cheese on top. And this one is just a regular, like a darker one. We decided to get these two because we wanted to show a little bit of the uh, quality that you can get from there. But we didn't get all the different yeah. bread rolls because there are so many, plenty different ones and it would be impossible for us to eat them. Funny thing, this thing is an in-between and I think a lot of people eat this without toppings, just yeah, as is. I could do that. But I think... You're missing out if you've never done that as a German, and I know there are a lot of Germans who've never done that. Cut it open and use it like a real bread roll and uh, put some toppings on it because it's awesome. Let us know in the comments, do you put the toppings on these types of breads or do you eat it as is? Yeah, I'm curious. I'm I'll, curious too. I'll bet more than half eat it as is usually. Yeah. Okay, let's put some very German toppings on it. It's starting to look like I work in a bakery. <laughs> or you just eat all the goods in a bakery. You want top half or bottom? Oh, let's just cut it. Oh, genius. Well, you have big brain. Well, so big. Jeez. This one uh, makes a good first impression. A good first impression? <laughs> this is dating quality. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> seem to be very old. It's uh, crusty on the yeah, outside. And, but soft uh, in the inside. That's the way I like it. I like cream cheese. Uh, instead of butter. I think that's not very German. Do you want some of these? Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> what? So on the dark one, I just had some cream cheese and camembert. And then on the other one, super weird, <laughs> unhealthy, but sometimes I crave that stuff. I just put uh, cream cheese again and then these poultry mortadella sausage thing. You just have uh, salmon. Lox and a little bit of uh, horseradish stuff on it. Fancy. You try the dark one, I try the cheese lighter one. <laughs> I'm eating like a savage. I love eating. It's my favorite thing. Can you put under hobby eating? Yeah. Okay. Food <laughs> critic, that would be the dream job. Mm-hmm. I think I like the darker bread in general more than white bread. It's also healthier. It's better for you. Is it it's really? Good. I think so. I like this one too. On a, on a bread roll scale, it's above average. It's a six, a seven. No, you don't like it? Mm -mm. I'm gonna try the dark one now with the camembert. And this one's good. Wow, yeah. the dark one is good. Mm -hmm. Also, nice contrast with the camembert. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half. I would give this a seven or an eight too. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. All right, and then I got this bread. And unfortunately, it looks a little sad because I messed up the packaging. But we just wanted to show you that you can get the whole loaves of bread there. We don't have one, but very common in Germany, the bread slicer at yeah. home where you put the bread on. His parents zoom, have one zoom. and they're really cool. <clears throat> All right, I think that was it. I think we tried all the bakery pastry items that the German Lidl had to offer, at least today. Yeah, I think overall it's a good freaking price slice done for healthness. And I think they have a fairly bad reputation and it shouldn't be that bad. They are better than they yeah. Like people say. I wonder how many people actually think that or if it's just the louder minority. Yeah, right in the different. comments. Do you think those are decent things? Do you think uh, they suck? Do Same with like the Aldi, them? the Lidl, the Penny. They all have these bakeries in there now. I think it's great just to have. Yeah, anyway, that was it for this video. If you want to support us, do that on patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil. We do more videos there. We have a more intimate relationship with the Patreons. So 
Uh, if you if so you happen to like us, where you're going <laughs> if if you happen to like us for some reason, um, maybe check us out there yeah. as well. We wanted to take a moment to say a big thank you to our family level patrons. A big big thank you to Marcus Audensman, Fred Forty Two, Lauren Jared, Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kuffner, Hasten Matro, Jay Reed, Charlotte Mills, Tarek Malkosh, Alan B, Jesper Nielsen, Stephanie Vent, Danu. Megan Rosati, Shannon Bradley, and Simon Grant Nielsen. Big, big thank you to you guys. Thanks, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. A big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and supports us, and a special thank you to our patrons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. We hope you guys are all staying safe during this crazy time, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.